Alright, how are you? Did you get some sleep today? Oh. It's a very big moment today. It's almost four years after the state capture inquiry started its work into allegations of corruption around the Gupta family and other accusations. We're here today where the Chief Justice Raymond Zondo is now going to hand over this report to the final report to President Sir Ramaphosa. Why is it such a big moment, Karen? Well, it's not only that this report is going to examine allegations of serious abuses of the state security agency, um, use of it as a sort of private army for then President Jacob Zuma, use of it to uh, target fees was for activists, NGOs, anyone who was perceived to be his enemies, the Steena Dairy Project scam, SABC Prasa. This is the report that's going to give us an overarching picture of what state capture was, what it did to South Africa, and what needs to be done to stop it from recurring. And part of that analysis is going to examine the character of the ANC and whether, as has been suggested by previous reports and analysis, it effectively operated as an organized criminal enterprise. Of course, most centrally, a lot of people will be analyzing what Zondor makes of President Cyril Ramaphosa's evidence, whether he accepts the president's denials that he was aware of certain corrupt or potentially problematic behavior, and whether he accepts that policies like K to deployment, for example, are effective uses and ways in which to put qualified people into pivotal positions in government. The most important thing was the timing of this final report. It was long anticipated. There was a lot of controversy around when it was actually going to come. It is here. Uh, what do you make of that? Obviously, there has been a lot of criticism of Ramaphosa for exceed, uh, receiving the report himself, given that he may well be implicated in it. We are in an incredibly tense moment in the country. We are looking at um, the ANC elections coming up, Ramaphosa under fire over the Palapala farm theft, which is under investigation by law enforcement. Arthur Fraser, a pivotal SSA figure who laid those charges against mm -hmm. Ramaphosa, himself under investigation in this report. So it is a political time bomb. It is going to explode, and it's really going to be about what the damage is and what the impact of this will be going forward.